A student of mine, uh, who is now with the union because she had done one commercial, she's now with the Screen Actors Guild, which is SAG for short, brought me a letter and said, this is what I've just received in the mail. It seemed to be a general letter. So I read it, and it seemed to be actually very detailed. It said that that particular group was interested in meeting with her um, uh, in the evening, any night on uh, that particular week, that they were interested in signing up 200 people and become personal managers to those people. So in order for me to explain a little bit better, let me recap some of the information I've explained to you about agents and personal managers. You need an agent. You cannot do without an agent. Um, an agent is licensed by the state. An agent is legitimate. An agent will sell you to a producer or a director, will sell your talent, your looks. The agent will sign the contract and the agent will receive 10% of your salary. They will send the check to your agent first, and then your agent will take his commission, 10%, and then send it to you. This is all legitimate. A personal manager does not have to be licensed by the states. Now, there are some very good personal managers who have very good connections, and they can help you along the way. They, however, take 10, 15, 20, and some of them have been known to take 25% of your salary, which is on top of the 10% that you already give to your agent. Now, because a personal manager does not have to be licensed by the state, anybody, and I mean anyone, can call themselves a personal manager. So now I go back to the letter that I was explaining to you. They had said that they would ask and take 200 participants and be the personal managers of those 200 people. That they would review their pictures, that they would review their resumes, that they would advise them on all those things, that they would give them an agent, and that they would get them invited to Hollywood parties where they would meet someone who might discover them, or they may be uh, making good connections. Now, <laughs> I was a little suspicious. And because the appointment was after 7 o'clock in the evening, and in Hollywood when we have an interview or an audition, it's usually between 9 to 5 or 9 to 6, I asked her to make the appointment, but to make it for two people, to go with a friend of hers. So she did. She brought a, um, a guy who was an actor, and they went to the appointment, they showed their pictures, they showed their resumes, and during the interview, they were told that mm -hmm, they certainly would fit the image of the people that they wanted to represent. However, the pictures were not too hot, so they would recommend another photographer for a fee. They would redo their resume for a fee. Um, they showed them a long list of Hollywood personalities. How they got the list, I don't know. Um, saying that they would meet those people at different intervals, at different parties, or at different gatherings at certain hotels in town. The only thing they had to do was to sign a contract and pay that group $125 a month. Now, think a little bit. Suppose that they do sign. 200 people. And personally, I think that if it is a scam, they probably would sign many more. At $125 a person, that's more than $25,000 a month. And actually, when I was telling that story to Cindy, she said, we're in the wrong business. <laughs> <laughs> this is a scam. You do not need that kind of a group. You do need an agent, and you might need a good personal manager. You don't need to pay $125 a month in advance. Now, listen carefully. A good drama coach will review your pictures free of charge. A good drama coach 
will redo your resume or guide you to do one free of charge. A good drama coach will tell you that most of the casting directors reserve one day in the week for interview free of charge. And a good drama coach will never promise you an agent. Agents are very difficult to get. They may, and I say they may, encourage you to see somebody when they think that you're ready. But a good coach will never promise you an agent. So, again, be aware of what is legitimate and what is not.